Hi folks, nice from GalaxyS5Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot uh, your phone back to complete 100% stock uh, with Odin and Stock Firmware. Um, basically, this will um, reinstall the stock <coughs> firmware and also it may erase everything on your phone. So do make a backup ROM before um, you do this and also backup everything, copy everything to your hard disk just in case something goes wrong. Um, you know, if you lose everything don't blame me because I just told you to back up everything that you can you can even make a backup ROM and save the backup ROM folder onto your hard disk um, so let's go ahead and do this um, you can do this with any Galaxy S5 I've got the T-Mobile Galaxy S5 here um, go ahead and put it put it into download mode so go ahead and turn off your phone and then you're gonna go ahead and hold down uh, volume down center home and the power button just like when you did when you install clock remote recovery let's so go ahead and hold down volume down center home and then the power button together give it three seconds let go when you see the warning sign uh, hit volume up to get into the Odin download mode all right and then connect it to your micro USB cable now use a USB 2.0 I've had a lot of trouble I don't think USB 3.0 is actually supported so use a USB 2.0 cable the regular 2.0 cable Go ahead and connect it to your computer and let's go to your computer. All right, next go ahead and go to my site galaxys5root.com. You'll see a menu for Galaxy S5 stock firmware. Um, I try to upload most of the US and Canadian ones and also you'll be able to go click on Sam, uh, Sam firmware there um, to find additional files. Now go ahead and download the appropriate one for your Galaxy S5. Since I'm using T-Mobile Galaxy S5, I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, Android 4.4.2 blah blah firmware for T-Mobile Galaxy S5, uh, which is the latest one here. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Um, for those of you with AT&T over here, and I'm going to keep updating it. If you don't see um, the firmware you need, go ahead and go to samfirmware.com. Um, this is samfirmware.com. Go ahead and click on firmware up at the top there. And you may have to um, you may have to join here. Uh, and if you go down here, scroll down, you'll be able to enter your model name here. So SM G, uh, let's say 900 F. Maybe you have that model. Um, you'll be able to find all of your uh, you'll be able to find your country's uh, firmware for SM G 900 F. So go ahead and download the firmware. All right, that's the first part. And once you're done downloading the firmware, um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, unzip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've downloaded this G nine G nine hundred TU blah blah um, dot zip. That's the firmware I downloaded for my T-Mobile Galaxy S5. Um, so go ahead and double click on it and extract all files, or your use your favorite uh, unzipping software. Um, it is actually two point two four gigabytes. All right. And I'm gonna let this uh, extract. While this is extracting, you should also download Odin. Uh, Odin, oops, there we go. Odin, Odin 3 v185. You should also download this um, zip file and unzip it. You'll get a folder called Odin 3 v185 uh, with the files you need. Um, this is almost done here. Let's actually go step by step. And when this is done, we're going to simply use uh, Odin, run the Odin program, make sure um, our phone is being recognized, and then we're going to go ahead and select uh, the firmware here. And that's pretty much it. And let's let it go. Set it and forget it. All right, there we go. So we unzip to this folder here, G900T, blah, blah. And I've got this one file, uh, blah, blah, dot tar dot MD5. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on Odin V185. Hit yes. All right, and here the most important part is you see this yellow highlighted sign. If you don't see that, go ahead and install the Samsung USB drivers, um, and uh, re reopen Odin or restart your computer and reopen Odin, and you should be able to see this sign. If you don't see this yellow highlighted box, um, go install the drivers first. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and choose PDA. I'm going to go to my download a folder, and I'm going to go ahead and find that folder where my uh, where I unzip the firmware to. I'm going to double click there. I'm going to go ahead and find that tar.md5 file. Hit OK. Open. And simply hit start. And this will start the 
unrooting process. Now, I'm not sure if this will actually erase everything. It might not, so um, that's why I told you make a backup just in case. And uh, in, my, in my experience, most firmers actually don't erase anything, but I just tell you to do it just in case, and that way you can't blame me, play, play the blame game. Um, so let's uh, let this go. We'll fast forward this, and uh, you, you, know, you can actually go grab a coffee or something which I'm gonna go do and then come back and it should be done when it's done. And when it's done, it's gonna automatically boot your phone also. So I'll be back. Hi right, folks, so if you see pass, you are good to go. You can go ahead and unplug the USB cable and your phone should be rebooting. It might be rebooting into Sock Recovery with the Android guy. Um, don't worry about it. It's gonna eventually boot into this. Let me go ahead and change the camera angle real quick. All right, it is booting, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot. And uh, it seems like it didn't erase all of my stuff here, and that is good actually. Um, another note about Knox: it's probably not gonna reset your Knox. We're gonna go take a look at it after we did it. Um, Knox, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Most U.S. carriers, uh, like AT&T, Sprint, um, T-Mobile, Verizon, they never check for the Knox, uh, what they usually do if you do return your phone for warranty, they usually take it apart and send it to Samsung before they even check for Knox. Um, so Knox is really for Samsung. Um, if you are in uh, outside the US, you may have to worry. Um, sometimes they can get picky since you are dealing with Samsung directly. Uh, but for, for people in the US, I wouldn't worry about it. If you're paranoid, just get insurance. Insurance will cover if, even if you void the warranty. Um, so if it's for your first time rooting and stuff, um, definitely get uh, insurance. I don't get insurance because I never mess up, but um, <laughs> there we go. It rebooted here, and actually it didn't erase everything on my phone here. It did, uh, as you can see, I still have my Alliance Manager for my old ROM. It's actually an international ROM. Um, so it doesn't erase everything on your phone. Let me see if my Play Store logs in and boom shakalaka. So um, it doesn't erase everything, but if you're coming from like an AOSP ROM, it might not boot. And I'll show you how to uh, reset everything. Now this will erase everything on your phone. So um, that's why I told you to do that, just in case you're coming from an AOSP ROM. Also what you can do, reinstall clock model recovery and do a factory reset that way. Um, that will uh, basically only erase uh, your settings and apps and app data you can do that also um, if you have trouble just you know you can email me you can find me on Facebook Twitter uh, Google Plus when you're doing this um, so go ahead and do that if you're having trouble I'm gonna go ahead and power off um, and uh, my phone is complete back to T-Mobile stock firmware and I'm gonna show you also if you want to get it if you want to erase everything off your phone because you're returning from warranty let me show you how to do that here uh, we're gonna go back into download mode real quick, volume down, center home, and the power, and see if Knox reset it. Uh, probably didn't, but we can tell right here. And yes, you can see uh, warranty void. It didn't. It didn't switch. So don't worry about that. Uh, like I told you, most U.S. carriers they don't even check for it. Uh, let's go ahead and put the battery back in. And this time we're going to go into the stock recovery, volume up. Uh, center home and power since our phone is booting automatically when the power uh, battery is inserted let's do this real quick insert the battery hold down the buttons real quick like that and if you see recovery booting there um, you're good to go you can go ahead and put the the cover back on and you get menus like this all right and if you're having a boot loop trouble you can also do this and what we're gonna do uh, what you can do is choose white factory uh, data factory reset and say yes this will erase everything everything on your phone I'm not gonna do it because I have uh, some ROM backups and I don't want to erase everything right now but that's what you can do and once that's done it's gonna erase everything um, com completely turn your phone into a stock phone and uh, that's about it and this should work for all the Galaxy S5s anyway I hope um, you don't have trouble unrooting, but that's how you unroot it. If you have trouble, again, you can contact me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. 
Uh, and uh, I will see you guys soon. As always, uh, if you have a Galaxy S5, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS5root.com and also uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash galaxyS5root. And as always, stay high on Android.